Ok. Euh, bonsoir. Nous allons ce soir avec nous euh, quelqu'un qui est un motivational speaker. Et donc, nous allons faire l'interview en anglais parce que c'est un Américain. So, we have with us uh, James Fisher. And he is a motivational speaker, I would say. Uh, uh, sort can, of, sort. Sort of. And he does a lot of other things too. So, we're going to find out together what he does. So, James, uh, it's a pleasure to have you with me today. Thank, Thank you. you for being here. So, you come uh, from uh, Southern California? Correct. Okay, and um, wh what is uh, mostly your main uh, um, goal or your main uh, activities uh, right now that you're promoting? That's a very interesting question. It's rather difficult to uh, answer somewhat. We're so diversified. Oh, right you now. do a lot of things, okay. But the main thing Basically is... Basically, the primary focus is child, safe, child safety on the Internet and family interest upon the inter Internet. Make, remove, <coughs> remove the myths remove the myth, uh, myths from the internet of the safety factor. Uh, media today has provided an image that the internet's not safe for children or family is not a good place to be. When in actuality it's the most innovative and most structured place you possibly want to be, most productive. Uh, it's, in a, it's, it's a library of immense um, data you can find nowhere else. It's like going to a library where you can, ch where you can check out a book It's always going to be there, no matter how many people put a reserves on it. Mm -hmm. That book is always there anytime you wish to be able to look at it. A book on the internet? No, basically the, the library, the, the internet's like a gigantic library. Oh yeah, of course, yes. You know, each, each website is like a book that you can read anytime you want. But it's very limited. Say again, in, please? It's very limited in terms of the amount of information, unless it's really developed for a page. No, that's not correct. That's, that's the, the myth people seem to have. It's so limited in information. It's such a large cavalcade of information that it's unlimited. It, if you, be, if you l use the Internet properly mm -hmm. and, and learn properly how to access things, how to do searches, you can find information on virtually any country you want, any subject you want, any topic you wish. It's right there at your access. It's just learning how to properly access it and take advantage of it. Okay. It could never take the place of a library, though, I mean, in terms of the amount of information. I mean, there's only so much you can put on a page. But in actuality, that's not correct. I originally thought the same thing myself. Really? But in actuality, there are actual libraries that are on the Internet. Books Total? You can, yes. Full books. Full books. There are actual books that you can read online on the Internet. Oh, wow. Like? Uh, not for children. Yes? Including children's books. Including? Absolutely. As a matter of fact, my own personal self, I write children's books, mm -hmm. and I'll be posting them shortly on our own, our own website for children, mm -hmm. interactive children's books, mm -hmm. or taking them from a hard copy format into the internet format, mm -hmm. where they actually, inter they actually interact with it. Or they mm -hmm. click on a uh, name, of an name of a character within the story, yeah. up comes a photo of the character. Wow. Or say a scene. And they can read the whole story. Correct. And, um, okay. Is it, is it a good... Um, Right now, I heard that uh, a million um, children under 18 have uh, access to the internet, so still limited. I mean, I mean, I know there's 42 million have the internet, but it's, right. uh, for children, it's only like it's much less. It's interesting. It seems it's it's growing at an uh, exponential rate as far as children's websites. Really. So, um, li how much do you estimate how many kids now have access to the internet? Next to impossible to uh, estimate. There's 12 million assume, right assume now in the United States. Assume practically for every customer, every every family that mm -hmm. has a computer, yeah, it's on the internet. Mm -hmm. That average of two two children per family on the average. Mm -hmm. So figure each of out of five families, three of those families will have children on the internet actually getting online and accessing data. Okay, Th there's one thing that um, people seem to overlook is that. People who have like America Online, which is about four million people right now, or people who have CompuServe, all these people, they have only five hours a week, uh, a month, sorry. Now, if they want to go further than that, of course, it costs them three dollars an hour. So this, what you're talking about, would be good if it will be unlimited time. <laughs> Correct. Okay. So uh, at this point, it looks like a lot of people have only, let's say, an hour a week. Uh, of well, so many the, folks are uneducated of what is available in the way of services for the internet. Yeah, that's the main thing, I think. Right. So many folks get these little discs in the mail for the magazines and things that are sort for CompuServe or AOL. 
uh, uh, granted, AOL is a fantastic uh, thing tool. to be hooked up with. A very yeah, good but tool. It costs like a hundred a month. But the you. cost factor is not at this point. It's not cost effective. No. There are independent er, independent service providers people can go to in their hometowns mm -hmm. where they have unlimited unlimited access. And people uh, are not aware of them. Correct. They're just not aware of them. I but see. that's becoming more and more aware as, as things go go by. I see. Um, but uh, rather than talk about the tech, uh, the organization and all that, I'd like to talk about you. I mean, how did you get to be, um, I, I know I met you at the convention and you told me you were giving some motivational speaking. Uh, uh, how did you get to do that? Basically, it's interesting how this whole thing started. My son was uh, getting up on by some kids. He had a problem to deal with. And I got fed up with it. And I said, it's just something's got to change. So I started to I started a program called Project Helping Hands. Mm -hmm. uh, very little support in the community, which, which, which basically caused me to pursue it even further. I know what the dickens. I says if this happens with my community, how many other communities have the same problem? So I tried to duplicate that idea, and carry it on to other cities. It has now gone worldwide. Then once it became worldwide, worldwide we had more satellite uh, groups of Project Helping Hands. We then came to decided it's to project change helping project hands? helping hands. Helping hands. Yes, ma'am. Okay, because here there's a project open hands. Oh. Okay, so it's two different things. Correct. Okay. Then I became aware of the internet, mm -hmm. and a gentleman one day on a train, I was, I have a magazine I put out called Positive Image, right. hard, hard copy. Really. And a gentleman said, uh, I made a comment, what I wouldn't give to have it on the internet, and a gentleman overheard the conversation, and stated, uh, well, why don't you? I said, basically, do you have the money to pay for it? He goes, well, sort of. He says, well, here's my card. He was an internet service provider. He put me up on the, on the internet free of charge to get started. And Next thing we knew, it started to go crazy with the magazine, the uh, response from people. Positive thinking. Correct. Focusing on a positive note, trying to share knowledge with other people. And next thing you know, we ended up forming a new organization, which was called United Federation of Child Safe Websites. Mm. I started to focus on the idea of the necessity for protecting children on the net. Mm -hmm. But then we started to realize people were focusing like Nickelodeon. They focused everything where children this, children that, parents don't belong here, and this sort of thing. We thought, well, what about the idea of families? Everything focusing on the internet was coming up, and the media was saying, children this, child safe this, child safe that. Well, hey, parents are, are, kill, are children at heart. Mm -hmm. So why not focus a website which is for the whole family? Mm -hmm. Brings the family together as a unit. So we started there. Mm -hmm. United Federation of Child Safe Websites began to start uh, linking up with an organization called Safe Surf, uh, which is at safesurf.com on the internet. They created a rating system, which allows parents to be able to use this rating system within a website. Mm -hmm. And there's software on the market, such as CyberSitter, which they can find at solidoak.com. They can download it for free. Mm -hmm. That same software will allow the parents to regulate what the kids can see, what they can access, what they cannot access. SafeSurf created a very unique and a very innovative rating system that that SafeSurf, the, the CyberSitter uh, software from Solid Oak uh, Software will read that rating system. If a website does not have that rating system, uh, the kids can't access that website. I see. And the parents can regulate from that point as to what degree of material they can read. The rating system basically uh, details the content, the data within that website. Mm -hmm. Very innovative and very complete. So they, be they, got, they became an alliance with us. We support them. One of the requirements to be a Federation member, you have to use the, rating the Safe Surf rating system. Mm -hmm. To be rated as a child safe website, they first have to be a Federation member. Number two is they have to use the Safe Surf rating system. And they have to support the idea of child safety and family safety and interest on the internet. And that's, that's your focus now? That's the primary focus. Mm -hmm. So you, you let uh, the positive thinking stuff uh, go wayside? At first we started to, mm -hmm. but then things have cha keep changing. We're seeing needs on the net. I'm realizing people need to become aware of what they can do. Uh, society today, businesses are all competing with everybody, persons uh, competing with each other. And it, that's the nature what, of America. Just, exactly. So I thought, why does it have to be that way? So we, we decided to try and market this idea. How can we change that? Yeah. There, then, then comes the mad monk of cyberspace. That's you. Which is me. Which is also, you have also um, 
a way of dressing so people recognize you? Correct. Okay, so that's why you dress like this today? Correct. Okay. We wanted to provide an image for people they could trust in mm -hmm. and believe in. Mm -hmm. My primary focus with this whole idea was provide a medium where people can learn to trust in themselves, have faith in themselves, and believe in themselves, as well as others. So we had to create the image for mm -hmm. doing such. Like it's like a priest. Such, a, such as a priest. Right. The Therefore, cross and the neck. Okay. Correct. Therefore, the Mad Monk is cyberspace. Now, the Mad Monk is cyberspace represents faith, family, and security mm -hmm. upon the Internet. Right. Uh, if someone wants to know why they call it is, the Mad Monk is cyberspace, let them threaten the interests of a child or a family, and they will very quickly find out why they call me the Mad Monk of Cyberspace. There have been a few companies who have found very quickly what happens when they cross our line, because I'm very much protect, in protection of families. Mm -hmm. every, every Federation member is likewise. We've had corporations such as Ned Carter Corporation, who puts out Cyberpilot uh, Pro, they're in alliance with us creating a brand new website called safemap.com which will be de debuting in a few weeks. SafeMap.com is going to be a repository of web maps. It's an actual map people can, can surf offline mm -hmm. of every single child safe website in mm -hmm. the entire internet. Mm -hmm. This is the kind of thing we're trying to provide. And people are duplicating the same idea. We're trying to focus upon the idea that you could accomplish anything if you have faith within yourself, faith within others, to work together as a team. In the word team, there is no, there is no letter I. And that's a key factor of our business and of our alliances. To prove to other people there is no such thing as competition. You create the competition, not the other people. So why not access other people's, uh, why not pay attention to other people's needs and wants? Focus upon those things and meet those needs. And then yours will be met too. Precisely. And that's one of the policies of the Federation. Our, our, our charter basically is that we will be a servant to your needs if you will be a servant to the needs of others. People will find very quickly, if they adopt that concept, they will find their needs are met automatically. If they will simply take the time to look at the needs of other people. When you pull heads together to work as a team, you have more ideas, more objectivity, more creativity and more innovativeness in everything that you do, and more strength most of all. And we're, we're approved, the Federation, United Federation of Child Safe Websites is proof of that. And we intend to continue to grow as we have. We're averaging 6,000 visits per day on our website, mm -hmm. which is all sh purely by uh, word of mouth. We don't advertise. We're simply trying to get the word out to folks. You can do anything you want to do if you just set your mind to doing it and have belief in it. So th that's th when you go speak in convention, that's your message? Absolutely. Okay. There's nothing more enjoyable than a perfect analogy. I have a gentleman I talked to on a train a few weeks back. We spoke maybe 20 minutes at the most. And I made a point to him. He said, James, you've changed so much. What you've accomplished? And I says, no, I haven't. I just simply began to believe in myself. I realized for 21 years, I did the same business and hated it. I began yeah. to realize, why am I doing this? What kind of business? Dealing with computers, oh. being a consultant. But I didn't enjoy that. It was not my forte. Mm -hmm. I'm good at dealing with people. So you, you used to be a computer programmer? Absolutely. Okay. So I pointed out to him, look, if you, I could tell you yourself, I said, you're comfor comfortably miserable with your present job. Mm -hmm. So why are you doing that? You choose to be in that position. I said, you're very talented in what you do, so why not take care of it yourself? Do what, be what you want to be, not what somebody else says you need to be. Three weeks later, that man was making more money on his own than he was working for the other company. And it's, that's, is the and, and most people don't think they can do it. Precisely. And that's the idea I'm trying to prove to people. Is there's nothing more great than the feeling inside that you've helped somebody else, that you simply shared with them your testimony, what you've done in your life, the changes in your life. What, what about if somebody has likewise. no capital to get going? I started with no capital. We've, we've spent an entire, a total of $15,000 investment in this company, and that's all. Mm -hmm. What about the people who don't have 15000 We started with zero money. You, and you can do it? We went, we went worldwide with no money, period. Period? Just being on the Internet? Just being on the Internet. People and take care of people on the Internet. They take care of each other. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very close-knit you know, community. So you can put your message on the Internet. And what if nobody comes visit you? Some people do get visited, but what if for the people who don't get visited? But they will. That's the beauty of the Internet. 
people surf the net looking for new innovative ideas they see, new, new creations. Mm -hmm. Every time a new, new website goes up, people are made aware of it. There are search engines and things. You can announce your new website. And people look for these things, and they will get visits to it. Mm -hmm. But some are more lucky than others, is that it? Correct. Or some more innovative, or some have better skill what they create. It's just a matter of time and learning how to work with it. And it's try and learn how to promote your site. Correct. Yeah. Okay, so you, you're, you have been successful thanks to the Internet. I've been successful thanks to the Internet, but most of all, thanks to God Almighty, in my opinion. Okay. Uh, and the way I express it to people, I respect, I respect everybody else's religions and beliefs. But the fact is, I've got a solution that works, so why should I change it? And that solution is? As far as I'm concerned, God owns this business, not us. Every company we deal with are about the same belief. This country was based on God. The United States, the Constitution was written based upon God, not something else. That's our belief, support our country, under God. As long We believe as long as we work that way, keep God first in this business, this business will always continue, continue to grow. Okay. So, would you want to show us something real quick before we close? Well, or, basically, or there is basically just your, the, the, the picture of your, of your page, there, right? Basically what I have here is just show you our logo and our uh, address on the internet for our website. Oh, excuse me. But uh, to go back to what you say, a lot of people believe in God and they told failures Eve too, so that, that's, that's not the, the answer. Say again, please. I say a lot of people believe in God and they are told failures. But they're total failures because of the fact of their belief. They believe in God, but they don't believe in themselves. So you have to believe also in yourself. Exactly. Okay. God gives you a talent to do something, but it's you make the choice as to whether you're going to make succeed or not. You're the one that has to make the efforts. You become angry. You get angry because you choose to get angry. Not because you had to, but you choose to. Mm -hmm. You succeed because you make the solid choice in your mind, I am going to do it. What if you can't? But you can. All the you time? Can, you can do anything you set your mind to doing. No, I don't think so. But you can, and I've done it. I've proved it. I went from a nobody, to unable, no, no pride in myself, no pride in anybody, no faith in anyone. Now that I'm having faith in other people, I can do what I always wanted to do. But that's like any other success story. Some succeed and some don't. It just all you depends. You cannot say that all will succeed. It's like, like what, one out of ten restaurants succeeds. So he cannot say, oh, that's because I, I believed in myself. They all believed in themselves, but only one did succeed. Every single person I've spoken with who has applied the same concept, is apply, and it, it really stuck with it, it has worked for them. Maybe not to the same degree. Mm -hmm. Different people, different degrees. It depends upon your you know, motivation, things of that sort. Mm -hmm. But if you really apply it and really have the faith in yourself and other people and allow other people to influence you, allow other people to give you advice, you've got some teamwork. Okay. Okay, so basically, uh, I guess the message is pretty well, uh, I mean, that's basically your message, plus this child safe uh, site is mostly promoting child um, safety on the internet, right? That's what's child safety, family safety. Family safety. Keeping the family as a unit. Mm -hmm. Unlike other things, a lot of people say child safe, it's not just children. We want to focus on the whole family as a unit. Pull the family back together. Unlike Nickelodeon always stating, this is for kids only, you know, parents don't belong in this section. Hey, what happened to parents? There are a lot of parents still like to watch cartoons and stuff. Okay. We're still kids at heart, so why not respect the parents too and pull the family back together as one single unit? And that's your message.